Hi, I'm Neil Gardner. I'm product manager for robotics and automation. And today I'm here to show you how to configure and set up the Vinton Vantage. When you first switch on the Vinton Vantage, the software is continually monitoring the network and a list of devices that are available will automatically appear down the left hand of the screen. At that point, we can just click on that device, select it, and we have the options available for doing our setup and configuration. One of the first things that you're likely to need to do with your Vantage is set the IP address. You have a number of options available at this point. You can choose a DHCP server so that the IP address is automatically allocated, or you have the option to choose static. If you choose static, you click on the first box below static and enter the IP address. This has already been set on this head to 158. The third option is the gateway. The gateway can normally be ignored. This will only be required if you've got vantages and control systems spread across a number of subnets and you need to reference a gateway to connect them all together. If you do have a gateway, enter the IP address into the gateway field and click apply settings. Something else that you may need to do from time to time with Advantage is update the firmware. To do this, you refer to the center part of the screen on the right where it says firmware update. You click on the button with the three dots on it and navigate to where you have saved your firmware on your hard disk drive. Select the update.bin file, open it, and then click apply update. At this point, you will notice that your Vantage starts to flash the LEDs in green. This will go on for about 45 seconds and it is important that you do not switch the Vantage off during that process. Once the update is completed, it will reconnect to the Vantage head and you will get control back of the configuration and setup tool. As standard, the Vantage is VR enabled. This allows you to use it in a VR studio for the creation of your VR graphics. In order to do this, we need to tell it the IP address of your VR system. We enter that by selecting tracking status on and then entering the IP address of our VR software. Once we've done that, we click apply and the system's immediately ready to use. The last thing I'd like to talk about on this screen is the ability to change the brightness of the LEDs that indicate the status of the Vantage. This is very important in many studios where light levels need to be controlled. In order to do that, we look towards the lower part of the screen where it says status LEDs brightness. We will notice there's a slider bar. If you slide the pointer to the left and right to set the level to one that you're happy with, leave it and the Vantage will then remember that level. Once we've completed the basic setup of the Vantage head, we want to check that everything is working correctly. To do this, we can go to the axis controls that allow us to move the head around and see that things are changing. To the, towards the top, we have this virtual joystick, which allows you to move the head left and right, up and down, or a combination by just clicking in the center and then dragging your mouse pointer around. You will notice that below it, you get the actual position of the head being indicated in the parameters. And at the bottom, you have the focus and the zoom of your lens. And in the same way, you click in those and just move your pointer up and down, and this will change the focus or the zoom of your lens so that you can check that everything is operating correctly. We have now completed the setup and configuration of your Vantage head. Now is your opportunity to go and explore your creativity.